Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Indie Lee Cleansing Balm. This product retails for $42. So this is actually the very first product I'm trying from Indie Lee. I've never tried any of their skincare before, but I've heard a lot of people love their products. And so I'm excited to try out this brand and try out a cleansing balm from this brand. This product is cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlighted ingredients in this product include cockadoo plum and acerola fruit. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. I looked at the ingredient list of this product and it seems to have all acne prone friendly oils. I do look out for certain oils that I am specifically sensitive to and I didn't see that in this product. And so I am hoping this product won't cause acne. That will be the big thing that I'm looking for. Another thing that I'm looking for with this product is how well does it work and how well does it emulsify? I want to see how this product emulsifies because that is a huge factor in the cleansing process. The final thing I'm looking for is does this product leave a film on the skin. Sometimes oil cleansers are known to leave a little bit of a film on the skin. They can be hydrating, but they can leave a very oily kind of greasy feel to the skin. So that will just be another thing I'm looking for. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. So I've been using this product for a couple of days. I am enjoying the feel of this cleansing oil. I feel like it does a great job at cleansing the skin and it does emulsify very nicely. This is like very high quality packaging. It comes with this little metal thing that wraps around the top. And so you're going to get all of this product out, which I love this. So there is the texture. It does melt into this beautiful oil. It serves as kind of like a thicker balm almost, and then it melts into a really nice oil. I have only had this one zit come up, but I got this before I began using it. It doesn't really have a smell to it. It also doesn't cause any stinging around the eyes. It does seem to be working very well to cleanse. Look at that, that is a beautiful oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to start emulsifying. I got it to emulsify once, and then the other time it just kind of disappeared from my skin. That happens sometimes with cleansing oils. I don't think that this is as much of an intense emulsification. Like you know how some cleansing oils can emulsify very well. This product I don't feel like is necessarily that, but it still does a great job at breaking down at least my sunscreen. I don't wear makeup, so I can't testify to that, but it just feels amazing on the skin. I do wish it would emulsify a little bit more. You can kind of see that it is Kind of just staying put. Did just rinse this off. I usually leave my skin wet and go in with a water-based cleanser. It is leaving just a little bit of a film on my skin whenever I try it. It's not that big of a deal whenever I go in with a water-based cleanser right after, but this definitely does leave a little bit of a film on the skin. It leaves the skin feeling hydrated though, and I really enjoy that. This oil cleanser is a little bit more expensive, but it does seem to do the job. I will be comparing it though to some more affordable oil cleansers that I love and just seeing how it continues to perform. I will see you all in the next check. Hi everyone. Everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. So I felt like this cleansing balm did a very great job at removing sunscreen. It wasn't as much of an emulsification cleanser, but I did find that the more that I used of it, the more emulsifying that it did. When I used it on camera, it didn't emulsify as well, but the next night that I used it, I used a little bit more of the product and it emulsified really well. The only thing about this product is I don't feel like it will last a long time time, especially considering how much you're paying for it. I've used a lot of it and it hasn't even been that long since I've started using it. I do believe that you will go through this product once every month and a half or two months. And also this product did leave a little bit of a film on the skin. It was a little bit more hydrating of an oil cleanser, but it definitely did leave just a little film on the skin. Whenever I would rinse off the product and go in with a water-based cleanser, I noticed that there was just 
the little film on my skin. I do feel like that there are other products out there that are more affordable that I enjoyed more than this cleansing oil. But not to say that this product is bad and didn't do what it was supposed to because it definitely was a very effective product at removing my sunscreen and it also didn't clog my pores whatsoever and so I did enjoy my experience with it. It just wasn't my favorite cleansing balm especially for the price point. As for repurchasing I would recommend either the Crave Beauty oil cleanser. I've also loved the Isn't Tree oil cleanser. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.